Okay. This section I'm going to look at the Cobra pad. Slightly different emphasis to the tie pad. Um, so much power base, more accuracy, and it's really good for creating, getting the right angles on your, your elbows and your round kicks, uh, your knees, flying knees, etc. Okay. It just gives you a, a slight uh, change and you, you can really focus on the emphasis and really isolate from the angle of the kick, etc. Okay. First of all, holding it, the handle is shaped this way, so you put the hand through, hold this in, and using it, the arms and working it away from the body. So we just hold it for some basic kicks. And then later, later on, a few sections we'll do uh, using it for shin blocks and uh, some defensive work as well. First of all, just start to hold the kick for some loose. So I hold it in, relax. I'm just going to face in the pad there, just going to work normal round kicks. In, get that front angle, and again, in, hold it this way. Make sure your arm's behind the pad. It's got a section on there, the padding. Hold this behind. So I get real tight, tight angle on the kick. Okay. What I like about this pad, really useful for the high kick where she wants to come over the top of the guard and hit into the neck, as you see quite a lot in uh, Thai boxing. So with the shape of this pad, I can really shelf it and work a recovery, which we'll look at later on. But just the basic angle on the kick. So I'm just going to hold this over like this. I get that chop down and I can pull over and down. Perfect kick. That's going to give you that knockout every time. So it comes over, straight over the top and the kick. So the other way, one. Getting that angle down. Boom. So when she's throwing that kick, it just comes right over. Boom, boom, chops into the neck. Again, you can really work that with these pads. Knee, elbow, good emphasis. And we'll just move on in a second and we'll look at some shin blocking and how to uh, use this for counter attack and uh, recovery.